So we're the trade association that represents all the players within the mobile marketing ecosystem. And for this show, we have three big announcements that we're really excited about. One, we did an announcement about the, just the growing presence of mobile marketing and its applications in retail, uh, which is an incredibly huge and, and emerging field for the application of mobile marketing. The other announcement we had was the introduction of our new um, honorary board members. We appointed in North America three new board mem members from Best Buy, OMD, and Ralph Lauren. So again, representing the retail and brand space who are taking leadership roles in the uh, fields of mobile marketing here in the North American region. And then finally, and this is really exciting, we announced our Mobile Marketing uh, Canada Council. So we've launched a new uh, council uh, to a steering committee to take a look at and drive the application and use of mobile marketing throughout all of Canada. And we launched it with uh, Bell Mobility, a Canadian carrier, as well as, well as another 25 or so members. Uh, we're actually in the process of merging that. So we have a, a Latin American organizational structure for um, or an organizational structure to support Latin America, and we're in the process of hiring a Latin American managing director um, to do just exactly what we're talking about. Well, I think what's happened over the last few years. So we've been, in, you know, we've been hearing and talking about the use of mobile marketing and, and engaging with consumers and connecting with consumers through and with the mobile phone for years. What, what's happened over the last few years is we've established a foundation. So all of the piping and the connectivity and the technology pieces are in place. The standards, such as the Mobile Marketing Association Consumer Best Practices and advertising guidelines have been well established and adopted within the industry. Now that that core foundational work is done, we're now starting to see brands and agencies and retailers and marketers adopt mobile marketing, including practices like you just asked, uh, mobile advertising. Mobile advertising is the use of placing one's promotional message or marketing message within any, any of the various forms of mobile media, such as MMS, email, voice, Bluetooth, applications, or et cetera, um, mobile websites as well. Mobile marketing, however, includes mobile advertising, but all of the other areas of engaging consumers through and with the mobile phone, such as loyalty programs, customer care, injection of social media activities through and with mobile. And so you're now starting to see leading brands, say like Best Buy here in the United States, who are recognizing that mobile is that connective glue that can help coordinate the customer experience across all touch points. You'll find mobile at point of sale, you'll find mobile in their print, you'll find mobile on their television advertising or any of the other areas where they cross promote their programs. So the core focus of leading companies embracing mobile right now is the use of mobile in a multi-channel perspective. So they're using it both as a direct channel as well as a channel to create interactivity and mobile enhance all of their other and traditional and new media. So mobile is becoming a core part of a company's strategy. Actually, and, and a lot of people think you have to work with a mobile operator to, to do mobile marketing, and that's actually not true. That was the case like five or six years ago, but over time the industry's matured and you now can go directly to a marketing agency or to a company called, uh, and with, if you look at the mobile marketing ecosystem on the Mobile Marketing Association website, you'll find a document that displays displays all of the players. The way a typical brand or retailer now will go to do mobile marketing is they'll work with an application provider. And that application provider will in turn provide the connectivity and the interaction with the carriers and that part of the network. In addition to that, um, companies can build out their own mobile websites. And while, it tr uh, while it's true, it will go over the carrier's um, mobile network and through the mobile phone. However, the mobile website doesn't necessarily need to be gated by or controlled by the carrier. So you have SMS and MMS and mobile web and applications, and there's, that can be done either on portal, i.e. with the carrier, or off portal, meaning through traditional and new media marketing channels. And, that's gonna, and the off portal is growing very quickly. Increasingly, we're going to see more and more brands take a play. And if you go back to what we learned from Mary Meeker, who is a Morgan Stanley, Stanley analyst who came out with a report in December 15th in 2009, it's more, th it's more about than just mobile phones as well. If you think about it, there are 4 billion mobile phones worldwide. There are another 6 billion mobile-enabled or mobile internet-enabled devices. And Mary's report points out that there's going to be, within the next two to three years, there will be more people connecting to the internet through their mobile device than there will be through, say, PCs or traditional uh, internet access terminals. And that's not just mobile phones. It's also going to happen through devices like the iTouch or the Amazon Kindle or game terminals or interactive television, um, uh, mobile interactive television devices or other types of device form factors that we may not even think of. And the, the connectivity is not happening over the mobile network, but rather the Wi-Fi channels. Um, so again, it's, it's a much broader 
concept uh, that has matured in, uh, in the last few years than simply thinking about that SMS message being sent over a carrier network. Absolutely. Again, there's two places you can be advertising on phones. You can go directly to a mobile operator and advertise with them through their uh, operator branded um, presences uh, or channels within the device. There are also all of the other, well, again, the off-portal um, aspects of advertising, in-game, in-message, mobile search, uh, uh, within voice channels and you're going to see a number of emerging players. So for instance, if you want to do display advertising that's behaviorally targeted, you can go to companies like Millennial Media or JumpTap or AdMob or Quattro, who is now, who is now, uh, who is now part of uh, Apple. And those companies then have the relationships with the carriers. So there are, there are industry players within the industry like those companies I've listed that will then access that data and then provide the tailoring and, uh, and then the local and regional relevance that for appropriate display of advertisement. Um, you're also going to find companies like Microsoft in the form of what they're doing with um, search. Uh, Microsoft and the advertising group, Microsoft Advertising, um, has a tremendous amount of experience to help provide that targeting and, and act aspects of as companies in, uh, want to launch and market and advertise or develop mobile search strategies, they can help. So there are a number of different players. They fall within what we'll call the application sphere of the mobile marketing ecosystem that will help customers embrace and engage with mobile and buffer them as well as the carriers from, uh, from the complexities of dealing with the technology aspects of the back end.